What's going on everybody? This is James White with Freak Interviews bringing you As Seen on TV product reviews, gadget reviews, and more. Now if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. So today I've got a product, I'm not really sure the name of it, but I guess you'd call these floating mesh laundry hair and lint catchers. I've seen these advertising a lot online, I've seen them on Wish and on Amazon, gotten a lot of requests for them. So here we go. So I ordered these from Amazon several weeks ago. I got my order and the vendor that sold these are, is already gone. So that shows you what kind of vendors are selling these. I got a four pack of these for $4.49, but like I said, there's a bunch of different vendors selling these. So the price varies from a dollar to $10. But the way they're supposed to work is that when you put them in your washing machine, top loading washing machines only, the hair comes through here, collects, in the net and doesn't get on your clothing. Now, I haven't found anybody that's gotten instructions for these. I know a couple people that have them. And so I'm just kind of going on instructions I've seen online. Some instructions say to put detergent in there, some don't. I've also read that you should only have your washing machine partially full, so not a, lot, not a full load. I'm not sure if that's the case or not. So I'll do my best to adhere to the scant instructions I found online and see if I can get these to work. So what I'm gonna do is I have four shirts. These are my most problematic shirts that still collect pet hair even after being washed, even after being used with the fur zapper, which I reviewed last year, that works on a similar principle. That works pretty well, but not 100%. So the four shirts that are the most problematic, I'm going to try with and without these mesh collectors. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get some pet hair on all four shirts and see how they work. But first, let's take a look at the four shirts, including the one that I'm wearing right now. Shirt number one. This one doesn't have too bad of pet hair on it, but as you can see, this just came out of the laundry and there, and there is a little bit of hair on there. Shirt number two is my, is my Contortionist, which is a great band out of Indianapolis. This shirt always has a problem with pet hair. Look at this, right out of the wash. Shirt number three is this thermal that I wear in the winter time. It definitely collects hair, as you can see up close. That is a constant problem on this shirt. And finally, the shirt I'm wearing. This is one of the worst ones. Look at this. This is a clean shirt. I have not even touched Bailey with this shirt yet. The next step, get some hair on them, wash them, dry them, take pictures throughout, and do the same thing without one of these catchers and see if there's a significant difference. Let's do it. Come here, Bailey. Good girl. This should be easy, huh? Oh, she, oh, she likes this. Good girl. You like that? You wanna wear the shirt? Oh, she's getting crazy on me. She's getting crazy on me. All right, you like that? All right. And for the final one, I'll just hug her. Okay. That time's a workout. <laughs> Let me get a close up of these and then hit the, the laundry room. All right, taking a closer look at shirt number one. That's pretty bad. My beloved contortionist shirt, full of hair. The thermal shirt covered, and the shirt I was wearing also covered. These four going to the wash right now. All right, here we go. Just throw them in there. Now I'm gonna let this fill up, and when it's done filling up, then I'll put the mesh bags in there. All right, it's done filling up. Let's drop these in here and see what happens. Now it's just a matter of waiting for this to finish and seeing how they look right out of the washing machine before I dry them. All right, laundry is done. Uh, let's see, here's what it looks like in there. All right, this one actually seemed to catch a little bit. What do you know? So did that one. Huh. Kind of getting stuck in the bottom here. So it looks like we got this much off of the four shirts. All right, this is shirt number one. Let's take a closer look. I'm still seeing hair, still seeing it. Number two, my beloved contortionist shirt. Yeah, it definitely has hair still on it. Definitely has hair still on it. 
Now the thermal shirt, uh, it's still got hair on it. And shirt number four, the one I was wearing, I still see some hair on that one too. I mean, there's a little bit less hair in all these, but it's certainly not a, a comprehensive solution. A lot of that, the black seems like it's actually lint and not so much hair. So maybe that really isn't that impressive with that little amount. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's take a look at the lint trap now. Not a lot of hair in here. So we'll compare all the hair from these plus the lint trap with the control batch and see how it does. All right, so I'm not sure that was the most impressive test, but it did get some hair and lint out, so I guess I have to give it some credit for that. But let me try that test one more time without the mesh baskets and see how, how much hair is on the shirts after just being washed regularly. Once again, I got my four shirts. Let's do it. There you go. Good girl. There we go. That's what you want. All right, shirt number one. The contortion is shirt number two. Lots of hair. Thermal shirt number three. And the one I was wearing shirt number four. I'm gonna do this once more and see how it goes. Now we wait. All right, let's take a look at these. Let's see what we got here. All right, I'm gonna compare these two together. This is shirt number one. Still see hair just like the other one. Shirt number two, still seeing hair. Is it worse though? I can't really tell. It's, they both had hair on them. Number three is the thermal. Also pretty hairy. And shirt number four that I was wearing, also we got hair on there too. All right, so I'm gonna put these in the dryer and see how much the lint trap gets out, but right now I'm not seeing a huge difference between the two of them. I'm wondering if the hair and the lint that the mesh baskets picked up would have just gone down the drain anyways. It's hard to tell. But let's see how much dryer lint we get and then compare. Not a lot of hair on here. Let's see. A little bit more lint maybe. So a lot of the hair and lint picked up by the catchers here ended up being caught by the dryer anyways. Hmm. So next I try to do a regular load of laundry without the extreme Bailey hair all over it. And here's what happened with that. All right, let's see what we got here. Now these did not have a ton of fur on. This is a regular load of laundry. I'm not seeing a lot in there. Well, that's, that's, not, that's not very much. Just a tiny bit of lint on this one. See so yeah, a tiny, well, that, I think that hair was from there from last time. So there's nothing in this one because that's, that's stuck in there from the last time. Let's see what this one has. Uh, maybe a tiny bit of lint. So that puny amount is all that came out of a regular load. All those shirts in there, that's all it got out. All right guys, that's all I've got. As far as these lint catchers goes, I'm not convinced they do anything. Now they may have caught some lint and hair when I had an extreme example for the first four shirts that I caught, but when you look at the end result of the, the lint catchers, washer and dryer, and just the dryer, there's not much difference. Now these were tested with an extreme amount of fur on my clothes. When I did just a regular load of shirts, that's how much I got right there. I'm not really convinced they really did much that my washer and dryer wouldn't already do. So I think the idea is there, but I don't think that it really provides much use. So I think the only people who might benefit from something like this are those who don't use dryers at all, like people who line dry their clothes. So if you're one of those people, or if you're just curious and want to try for yourself and you're on Wish and don't mind spending a dollar on it, it might be worth it. Otherwise, I wouldn't spend any more than that. To me, this is not an item that really lives up to the advertising hype. Have you used one of these lint catchers or something like it? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures, videos as I go. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews.